And to focus on other matters, Chief Justice David Kenani Maraga has handed over the instruments of power to his deputy, Justice Filomena Mbete Mwilu, who will be acting Chief Justice pending the appointment of a substantive Chief Justice. The five-year tenure of Maraga in the judiciary will come to an end at the stroke of midnight following his attainment of the mandatory 70 years retirement age for judges. In his farewell ceremony held at the Supreme Court of Kenya, members of the judiciary paid glowing tribute to Maraga, hailing him for what they termed as outstanding service and leaving a legacy of change, key among them being upholding the independence of the judiciary and ensuring uh, the harnessing of technology through digitization in the dispensation of justice. Transformation to where it is today is our collective ach achievement for which I draw enormous pride. I want to add here my fellow colleagues and judges. The people of Kenya have constitutionally bestowed upon you to be the guardians of our constitution, to uphold the rule of law. I have heard sometimes politicians say that they are better off because they are elected. I want to tell you that According to our constitutional architecture, they have no better power than what you have. It is the people of Kenya who gave you the judicial authority to exercise it for their own good. I want to urge that you don't let the people of Kenya down. I'm sure you live in this country and you have seen the drums of political war being beaten already. My colleagues, if you waver, if you waver and do the wrong thing, and this country descends into chaos, God will never forgive you. Fellow Kenyans, once again, I want to thank you most sincerely for the support you have given me. And I trust that you will give the same support to the acting Chief Justice until my predecessor is uh, appointed and thereafter continue to give the judiciary support to uphold the rule of law in this country. Say no to impunity and maintain the rule of law. May God bless you abundantly. May God bless our beloved country, Kenya. Thank you very much. I have gained immensely from working with you, learning from you, from your mentorship, encouragement in moments of weakness, and your advice. President of our court, you led us with your knowledge, fair and balanced disposition, your courteous demeanor and your neutral and sensitive consideration of the opinion of your colleague judges, as well as the arguments and submissions of counsel before us. Beyond inventing an important ringtone, as Chief Justice, your commitment your vision and leadership accelerate, uh, accelerated transformation in the judiciary. It deepened independence of the institution, accountability of judges, and transparency across the institution. It increased public confidence in the courts and tribunals and enhanced access to justice for many Kenyans. 
My Lord, you leave a proud, irreversible legacy, particularly in regard to harnessing technology towards the effective and efficient dispensation of justice, judicial independence, protecting and entrenching the rule of law, and fidelity to the same across public governance to the Constitution.